hey guys welcome back to another video today i'll take you back in the kitchen with me and i'll show you how i prepared my creamy mashed sweet potato don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share and comment and tell a friend to tell another friend about kali j's kitchen you can also follow me on facebook it's kali j's kitchen follow me on instagram it's kali kitchen underscore one and go ahead and turn on that post notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a new video so this is my potato and basically I'm using one and a half um, sweet potato and as you can see they're nice sizes so once it's crushed and um, fluffy then you know it can serve up to four persons alright. So I'm going to go ahead and peel my sweet potato and while I'm peeling my sweet potato I put my pot on the stove with some water but half pot of water and I added some salt just a small amount of salt for taste and just a reminder guys if you don't want your sweet potato to change color always place it in water once you finish peeling and slice it up until your water start to boil all right or you can simply add just a small amount of lime juice to it so that it doesn't change color And sometimes you might see a little, some little dark spot on your sweet potato. All you need to do is just go ahead and just use the knife to just remove it. Simple and easy. No need to fuss, alright? So now that I'm finished peeling my potato, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and slice them up in medium sizes because I want them to cook properly. And also guys, you know, you don't want to slice them up too small. I don't like to slice up my sweet potato too small. Well, some of you might want to do that, but I choose not to do it, alright? So I'm going to allow them to cook until they're soft. So I'm going to place them in the boiling water. Once they're finished cook, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, so this is my sweet potato all cooked and guys, I don't know if you realize the color of the sweet potato now. You see that nice color? Remember when we were putting it in the um, boiling water, it didn't have this color. Even when we peel it, it didn't have this color, but I love this color that it has now. I love sweet potato overall. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and crush my sweet potato. I will also go in and add some butter. And if you have a potato mash at home you can always use your potato masher or you can just simply use a fork so to give it some moisture i'm gonna go in and add some cow's milk you guys can always go in and add some almond milk if you have almond milk at home all right or if you don't want to add any milk at all you can always use some of the water that you cook your potato in and that will add moisture to your sweet potato all right so i'm going to continue to just crush until it is really smooth and fluffy and come back and show you guys what it looks like So with this sweet potato, I will serve it up with some sweet and spicy chicken wings. And I will show you guys how I prepare my sweet and spicy chicken wings in another video, alright? So this is my sweet potato. So I'm going to serve this up and show you guys the final product in a minute. So guys, this is the final product of my creamy mash sweet potato i hope you guys enjoy this recipe i hope you guys try this recipe at home remember to turn on your post notification bell remember to subscribe to my channel remember to tell a friend to tell another friend about college's kitchen 
Thank you guys so much for watching and see you tomorrow for another awesome recipe. Bye!